Hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 3 of Timberborn. We are currently in the drought. Only a couple days, so it's not that bad. Let's get some more carrots placed here. Nice, and I think we'll probably want to get some more carrots over here as well. And we will want to look to set up a potato farm. Then we can use the grill and get some grilled potatoes. You can see that that gives them... Oh, that's plus two. That's good. Yeah, I guess some grilled spatter dock wouldn't be a bad idea either. We have just the perfect place for it. We're going to set all of these food production viewers to a high priority. Get this set up. It'll help get gear production going. I really want to put probably maybe another lumber mill and gear workshop here in the future. But I think for now just one of each will be fine. It's cost 20 gears and 30 planks. It'll be worth it. We will want to get rid of these ones. I probably one of these guys for now. Oh, we're pretty low on food. This actually takes priority. Now we can get a couple berry collectors. That'll help with the food situation. I think we should probably put some dams along here. That way we can get some far farm set up there. It'd be a good place to grow the potatoes. Okay, got the spatter dock being planted. Yeah, and then we can have a grill set up over here also. But we don't need that quite yet. A little bit low on the priority list. But I do want to try and start getting some metal so we can start building a boundary, I believe. No, a smelter. Yeah. I think we'll need to set up another district in order to reach any of these. I think this one will be the easiest. Oh, perfect. We have this ready. And we can get that there. This started immediately. We can get a lot of potatoes in here. And then we'll want to, we want to get scrap metal. Oh yeah, so finish this. Let's see, how far is it? Okay, it only makes it to there. That is not terribly far. So I think what we we'll want to do is do a little trick. We have the district gate here, and then we can shift it back and forth if we want beavers from this district to build like a warehouse. Oh yeah, I should probably make a new district center. You're going to move it right here. That should be close enough. Yes, it is. It's filled in. Okay, let's see. Nice, they got this. Oh, we need to get, oh my goodness, we are, everyone's thirsty. Yikes. Completely ignored the water, and we're still low on food. Man, get those working hours up just to get some water. Hope no one dies of thirst. Oh, they're only slightly thirsty. Yeah, not great, but they can survive. Oh, perfect. A uh, drought. Okay, I think right now we have to get water. We do not have any water. And that is going to be the goal for these next three days. These are definitely what we need to get done right now. Because we have... <laughs> Everyone's so thirsty. Okay, we have people working at the water pumps. Good. Let's get all the water we can. Yeah. 
This would be a great place to put some gravity batteries. Get some platforms also. I've never used these. But I would like to use them in this build. Because Metal Madness is the name. So, you have to live up to that. And we are still low on water. This is not good. We need to do whatever we can to get water. Oh man. They went so slow. Man, minus 15, 50%? Goodness. And I wonder if everyone's going so slow. Actually, we can probably get some potatoes planted down here. Might as well. And as soon as the water exits, we'll pause this pump. Okay. But this will keep flowing for another day or so. Oh, maybe not. We'll see. I think it takes a little while. Oh my goodness. Okay, you have to harvest and one of you plants. We don't need these yet. Not important. What is important is getting food and everyone's still hungry. We're all pretty close. We're not at a surplus. Those potatoes dying is not good. Wish we could have got the dam. Oh, we got the dam set up now. That's good. But doesn't matter. Okay, I think with this we can also keep going up, but it'll depend on how close how far the they are from the district center. And we are still right on the edge for food. Yeah, this is not getting better. Okay. This is okay. Now we need this grill built immediately because we need someone to make grill spat a dock. Everyone's running on empty, but at least the drought is almost over. Oh, we're doing fine. Oh, yeah, we're low on water. Let's get some more water getting sucked out. Okay, nice. We have a grill. Let's give these. Let's give this grill master all the spatter dock he needs. And if he will die in hunger, not good. I think that now that we have this stamp and the potatoes set up, then we can also set this up as well. Get some more potatoes planted over here. One more. Okay, we have all these ready to be planted. While these are empty, we can get another large water storage set up. Enough gears and planks. Oh, nice. Yes, these ones are starting. Okay, we can do those. Okay, we have enough food. And we will keep expanding the food production. Okay, looks like water is okay. Has the water come back yet? There it is. We can unpause all of these. Okay, water is not zero. Food is coming back. We have enough wood. And we have this weird water thing going on. Okay, I think we are not doing too bad. We survived. We only had a few people die of hunger. Okay, well, when we get some more jobs. Or some more extra beavers in, I think we can really start getting, uh, getting these trees hauled away. For now, I think we should probably focus on getting those out so we can see if this is even going to be a feasible storage solution. 
But I think that's probably what we're going to call it for today. Wow, that is a lot of trees. And there is someone working there. Distracted. But anyways, uh, next time I think probably finish the barracks. We'll get the we'll get a beaver in the next district collecting scrap metal. Probably begin building a smelter. Expand some of the water wheels. Maybe we could even get a gravity battery set up, but that's hopeful. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.